Today I'm going to show how we made a birch lampshade. Let's get started. Let's get going. I'm going to actually turn this over to Dad. I decided to buy an inexpensive $10 shade. And in doing so, it gave me this structure to go by. So then I made these cardboard pieces the same size as the width and it tapered and then I got those up and then when I cut these out I found out that they were a little bit short so I added some little pieces on here you just stapled those just stapled them on okay mm -hmm. and that way I got the size that I needed for the birch bark to go around the outside and the birch bark is like this and they're bigger pieces naturally but we cut down a tree at the cabin and the tree had died and before it deteriorated we cut some logs and we cut some pieces of the birch off of the logs how so thick is that birch more. bark it's about an eighth of an inch thick mm, three sixteenths maybe so eighth inch okay yeah. yep pretty and thick. then there is a backing on that besides backing before what? it hits the birch log itself there's another piece of yeah but that's not you're not using that but we're not using it but that's on there mm -hmm. and so then we got that and so the cardboard was just templates to cut out yep. the sizes of the of the birch bark and then i proceeded to take each and every one of these little pieces of birch same size as these cardboards two of one size and two of another and and this is actually ended up being a little bit taller than the shade because yep. You kind of, Dad was guessing on, okay, well, you can see here the template is shorter than the birch bark, but yeah. how is this going to end up sliding down onto the shade and not have the shade show at the bottom or the top? So these templates are a little bit small, mm -hmm. though they are they're about the same as the birch, but mm -hmm. we figured air on the side of being a little bit too big than too short. So... Mm -hmm. We made it taller than what we thought we needed to make it and it's taller than the shade by uh maybe an inch an but two inches wouldn't be too bad mm -mm. So. and then i have these sticks that i find in the woods and i took and i marked a board similar to something like this and I marked it three quarter inch segments and I I held it on to the birch on the drill press and then I just moved the board that's under this that I was drilling into and I drilled all these holes I had to drill all the holes first Get yeah the holes all drilled right and yet a drill you you could have used the hand drill too, but the drill press just works out nice. Well, the drill kind of... bit will pull the wood right out, and it'll kind of make it elongated holes, and yep. it's kind of messy. And how much bigger holes did you drill than what the string is that you use, which the well, string is about a the, sixteenth? These are about three sixteenths inch holes in the birch, but it makes it so that the cording, which is, it's hemp at at uh, michael's and you can push those through there pretty easy and then tie it on the inside and then weave around and get those all snugged up snug like they are here mm -hmm. yep. yeah and then you you nailed well you drilled holes like in these corner sticks you drilled a hole in the yeah. bottom and the top on uh, four of them yeah but then these are nailed what that way and then up from the bottom yep. and glued yep okay which you drilled those first mm -hmm. because otherwise it would probably split out it would and this ended up being pretty stable 
Um, I, I was thinking, Dad was working on it, and I hadn't seen it, but I was thinking it'd be a lot floppier. And he was thinking originally of making a metal or a wire frame for this, and I'm like, that's not going to be easier to do. I think you're you're better off buying a frame or a shade. Yeah. And then ended up, there's, there's just slides down over the top of the shade then. But these corners could be also leather. Oh, you yeah. could use leather strapping or... This stuff is easier to tie. You buy it at Michael's. It comes in a little container of sorts. And I bought two little containers. So when you <clears throat> proceed to start tying, I didn't know how much I needed. So I had a little over a little over two lengths. Yeah, but you could have just but come I off with three. a but you could have come off with a spool and just fed it through and then figure out approximately what you need and then cut it off. Don't cut it off before you start placing. Yeah, well you could, but it's easier to for me, some people it depends on who it is. Right. Why well, now up here I use two two sections. Two a little over two lengths. But so that, I have enough to tie the ends. That all depends though on how far apart the holes are, how far down the holes oh, are everything. outside. So there's a ton of variables there. There is. So there I would almost think it'd be better just to come right off of the mm -hmm. the roll mm -hmm. and lace it all through and get it relatively tight so it's it's fairly close and then then tie it off. Yep. Okay. So that's the way that works. And this just has to be laced up, which, like I say, I go through from the outside in, and then I uh, I go over the top, and then I put a square knot. A square knot goes around. It goes from this piece on to this piece. So that when you're done, you got a square knot tied on there, and then you just snugs down and squeezes in tight. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a slip knot then. Yeah. Okay, but then what do you do at the other end to keep it tight? And then you have to just use slip knots, and then you put a little dab of glue on it. Oh, okay. And that way it's all sealed and secured, and it holds up well. Okay. And there's nothing that's going to be disturbing it after you get those tied and Okay, so this is all done except for just, for the top. just this one right right here, which is just replicating. Mm -hmm. yep. You're starting in one hole and then going down another cross, down another cross. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, if you pick that up, Dan, we'll slip it onto the shade. Mm -hmm. So the shade and then the birch bark shade just slides down and it's friction fit. Yep. And then that can go on to the lamp that Dad has it on. But um, mm -hmm. that turned out looking really nice. Thank you. Um, good. So be sure and check out my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below. Have a great day.